whenever there is a question in which you have to find resultant of multiple vector. So it means multiple vectors are involved. So don't use triangular law of vector addition. That would be way complicated for you. Better way is you can write each vector in component form. Write each vector in its component form and then you can easily add them. Okay. So there is a previous year question. So let us solve that. There are five vectors that we have to add together there. So this question was asked in J mains 2021 and here we have to find the resultant of these five vectors. Uh, so first of all, we will write all the five vectors in the component form. Let us start this vector P. His magnitude is 20 and it is making an angle of 60 degree with the x axis. So it uh, would be 20 cos 60 i cap plus 20 sin 60 j cap. So p is equal to 10 cos 60 is 1 by 2. So 10 i cap plus sin 60 is root 3 by 2. So 10 root 3 j cap. Now writing Q, Q vector is making angle 30 degree and its magnitude is 10. So 10 cos 30 i cap plus 10 sin 30 j cap. Cos 30 is root 3 by 2. So it became 5 root 3 i cap plus sin 30 is 1 by 2. So 5 j cap. Now we will write r vector. So r is equals to 20 cos 45 i cap and in the y axis it is going in downward direction. So minus 20 sin 45 j cap. So r vector became cos 45 and sin 45 are 1 by root 2. So 10 root 2 i cap minus 10 root 2 j cap. Now vector s, s is magnitude is 15 and it is making 45 degree with the negative x axis. So it is minus 15 cos 45 i cap minus 15 cos sin 45 j cap. So it became minus 15 by root 2 i cap minus 15 by root 2 j cap. Now writing t, so t is equal to, it is magnitude is 15 making angle 30 degree with the negative x axis. So I can say 15 minus 15 cos 30 i cap plus 15 sin 30 j cap. So it is my cos 30 is root 3 by 2. So minus 15 root 3 by 2 i cap plus sin 30 is 1 by 2, 15 by 2 j cap. Now here we can add all the i caps together, add all the j caps together and this is how we will get the resultant. Also we, you can put the values of root 3 and root 2 here. Now if you add all these together, so the resultant force that will come that would be 9.25 i cap plus 5 j cap. So the option is A.